everybody, Jiminy Cricket coming again today with another video. Um, this one will not be a duel or a deck discussion at all. This will be about the mat that I made about a year ago. Um, I just want you guys all to know that I am a graphic design artist. I love working with Yu-Gi-Oh! It's my favorite thing to work with. Um, just because I'm such a big fan of the game, as you can see by my channel. This is the first official Team Soul Intent mat that was ever created. It's the only one in existence at the moment. You can see, if you look in closer, I've got the little uh, Kazuki Takashi thing there. Um, the We Are Infinite part, a lot of the people that don't know my team yet, that's actually the Japanese text that's in my logo. It says We Are Infinite in Japanese. So the centerpiece here, we have a big old JD, and he's pretty much just overthrowing the entire crowd of the deck. Um, he takes up the entire mat. And on the JD, there are three silhouettes of Effect Veiler. A lot of people do not realize that there's three in my mat. Um, next up, we have... First off, we'll begin... The, here's a Celestia. I don't know if you can see it. Um, here's a Necro Gardener. There's a big old BLS Soldier. Our Honest, of course, which is like the only color monster art we have here is Arcus this is an alternate art version of wolf sorry about that um then you if you can see here he's kind of just howling at the moon he's like Arr! here's an alternate art version of Lila and if you look closely enough she's got little nippies <laughs> you know me my fucking stupid humor um there's a Jane there's an Aaron and there's a plague spreader and then here we have a head of gores, like a head of lettuce, and uh, a Lumina, a Garroth, and then that is actually Garroth's axe behind him. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm, like I said, I made this about a year ago. Um, I designed it all myself, and as you can see, I'm very much into dark art, so it kind of looks like they're almost in hell, <laughs> which is weird because they're light sworn, so that's what I liked about it. It was like a twilight theme because I do switch from standard sworn to twilight pretty often, so... This is definitely uh, up my alley. And I will be honest, every time I've rolled this out in front of an opponent, I mean, their jaw drops. Like, they want to know where I got it done. And when I tell them I made it myself, they don't believe me. <laughs> I didn't print it myself. I got that done on eBay. And that man is no longer in business. And I'm not really sure why, but I can't plug his his store anymore so anyway i did the entire design by myself i did all the artwork myself and then uh got it printed on ebay and that's how i did it there will definitely be more mats i already have about three projects in the making at the moment and uh, there will be definitely more to be printed it's just at the moment i don't have income or at least not a large enough source to keep producing mats i've thought about selling them but it takes so much time to perfect this took me about a month to get finished because i had about like 10 different routes i was going to go with this and i still have those designs saved but they're all too similar to print you know so i might do custom mats for people i might do uh t-shirts with like you know funny memes and shit with Yu-Gi-Oh monsters or something i don't know what i'm gonna do but eventually though you'll find out that i just do a lot of artwork so you'll end up seeing much more artwork in the future this is the first of many and uh, the reason why I'm doing this video today is because I got an email from Google saying that, uh, you know, I've been monetized for a while. I've had the YouTube partnership, but I need a Google AdSense account in order to make a revenue from it. So I got an email today saying that I can begin to make revenue once I have sufficient amount of content. So that means I need more uploads. And once I have a certain amount of views, um, likes, subs, things like that. So definitely hit those up if you want to see more if you want to support me just blow those buttons up because i'm already at about 2,000 individual views at least close to it i'm at like 1700 at the moment and i'm waiting for it to uh refresh but i'm at almost 2,000 individual views on the channel it's only been a month and if you ask me my videos really ain't all that great um i'm surprised that it's even gotten as far as it's gotten 
I'm um, getting better with each video, I'll admit that, but I just didn't expect it to blow up as quick as it did. I made a lot of friends on DevPro too once they saw how I dueled or they were impressed by a deck and then I, you know, sent them the link of the channel or the Facebook. They uh, immediately responded to me with like incredibly positive feedback. It was so flattering to hear some of the comments that people were making to me. Um, and I know my videos are kind of stupid sometimes, they're very vulgar, and I'm a pothead, I'll admit it, so I'm stoned every single video I make, and I probably end up rambling quite a bit, um, I'm probably doing that right now, so we're looking at like five minutes in the video already, so I'm just gonna cut it off here, guys, um, I'll do a deck profile of my Light Sworn soon enough. It's just I've been fucking around with other stuff, you know? That, to me, I'm like, I love Light Sworns. To me, they're they're tier one in my head. You know, tiers are just a popularity contest anyway, so I think that I could uh, keep up with all the decks in the format no problem with this deck. It just depends on, who you know, how you use it. Because in all honesty, with Light Sworns, they have every aspect of the game, and they can tear through any wall your opponent creates, so... Unless it's Macrocosmos or Skill Dream. <laughs> then you have to sideboard. Anyway, guys, six minutes in the video, so I'm out now. Peace. I'm going to upload some more videos tonight, maybe tomorrow.